Hey guys, it's Rob, and this is just a video for Ingleburn on the uh, forum. I thought I'd just shoot a video, it's easier than setting up a photo. But um, yeah, here's my 450 GT, that's the first 450 GT I built. Um, and I've got the servo mounted in that same hole that you're using on your photo. Um, I've got it turned around the other way actually, but that, that doesn't really matter one way or the other. Um, just make sure that when the servo moves, the, um, the push rod doesn't bind, and you can see that the height of that uh, servo horn is about level with the um, the guide that I was talking about and so when it when it moves forward and back it doesn't really bend too much that's really nice and free and uh, also just work out the uh, geometry to be as straight as possible if you can if that makes sense just uh, in there that's a fairly straight geometry that you can see yeah so that's the, uh, the 450 GT and I've got it on the um, the hole on the servo horn that gives me uh, 10 millimeters from the center of the servo to that position that that works really nicely with the um, the Spartan Quark gyro and here's another one this is the 450 MT and same deal I've got the uh, servo actually turned around the other way and uh, I honestly can't remember why this one's different to the other I probably wasn't even thinking about it at the time but same deal it's 10 millimeters from the center to the hole and the geometry uh, is such that the little horn doesn't sorry the little push rod doesn't bend too much but there's still a little bending there and I've got the ball link on the inside of the, the servo for that same reason just so it can be all lined up nice and straight and I hope that uh, camera angle is showing what I mean all right so there's that one and the final one I've got is my other 450 GT this is the one with the gold motor that's an absolute powerhouse uh, this has got the InnoLab um, 261 servo on it and I just measured that uh, ball link position it's 8.5 millimeters from the center so not quite 10 but further out than seven and uh, that just seems to work perfectly with this helicopter that is just super free there's just no friction at all in that tail mechanism and uh, you can see that the tail I've got on this one's got the Chinese counterweights on it which is actually the the, um, the tail blade holders off a 450 Pro so uh, but once again I'm using that same hole that you're using and you just position the servo um, just to give yourself as straight a geometry as possible and you see there's a little bit of a bend there but uh, the main thing is not to have any kinking or friction so uh, anyway